Hey YouTube, it is your girl, Tammy C. Walker, coming to you with another video. This is Dreams Are Reality. I am the owner. I created this channel for light and love. As you all know, the last three months, maybe, I've been venturing into the NACA program to help get the information out about buying a home. In conjunction with that, I'm talking a little bit more about credit scores and your credit report. More good news. This is about the medical debt. I'm just going to read it to you. That way I won't get anything wrong. Most medical debts will be wiped from consumer credit reports. Okay, that was as of March 19, 2020. I'm just reading straight from the article. A large number of U.S. consumers will have their medical debt wiped from their credit reports. The nation's largest credit reporting agencies announced Friday. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion said in a joint statement they will remove nearly 70%. You all hear this? 70% of medical collection debt accounts from consumer credit reports after conducting months of market research. The changes will start to take place this summer. We are at May 16, 2022. Hey, give us a summer date. We need to know, right? You all excuse my hair. I'm letting it grow out. I'm trying to get some braids and boy. The struggle is real. That's why I keep my hair super short because when I let it grow, it just poofs out and it's just unruly. So forgive me for even jumping on the camera like this. All righty now, let's see. Let me keep going. After two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, a detailed review of the prevalence of medical collection debts on credit reports, the NCRA's nation why credit reporting agencies are making changes to help people focus on their personal well-being and recovery. The company said, starting, here go our date, here go our date, starting July 1st, medical debts that were sent to debt collectors and eventually paid off would no longer be included on your consumer credit reports. In the past, debts that were paid after being sent to collections could be included on a credit report for seven years. Consumers will also now have a year before unpaid medical collection debts appears on credit reports after being sent to collections. That's up from the six months. So previously, you have this debt with a dentist or a doctor. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at this. It's my hair. And they can send it to collections within six months. This happened to me. Um, I had a I had a lot of dental work done. And when I went back to school for my master's degree, I had to drive Uber. I couldn't work full time. It's a long story. So my income was cut and I could not finish off this dental bill that I had. They sent me to collections. But I paid every penny back. Yes, I did. <laughs> So sorry. Um, consumers will also now have a year before unpaid medical collection debt appears on credit reports after being sent to collections. That's up from the current six months, which the agencies will offer people more time to work with their insurance or healthcare providers. Here's another piece. Sometimes before they send you to collection, if they run the thing through to your insurance, I've had this happen where they ran it through two the three times by the third time blue cross blue shield edna whoever i had they went on and paid it so don't be so in a hurry to send us to collections you know just see if the insurance will even pick it up starting in the first half of 2023 equifax experian and transunion will also stop including medical debts in collections that are below 500 dollars on credit reports that's another thing people would tell me i owe 200 bucks they put it on my credit and the, the bad part is that $200 in your, on your credit as a collection is going to tank your school work to the high heavens. You better off, well, you don't even have to worry about it now as of July, but you were better off calling and sending them $25, $30 than to have that $200 tank your credit. My goodness. Medical debt, which can be extremely unpredictable, can cause even the most fiscally rigorous Americans to end up missing payments, which can result in lower credit scores, hello, that will hinder their ability to get the best credit or loan rates. 
A February report by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau estimated that there is $88 billion in medical debt on consumer credit records as of June 2021. Most medical debts and collection on consumer credit reports are under $500, it added. Black and Hispanic consumers, young adults, and low-income individuals are more likely to have this medical debt than the national average. The report said older adults and veterans are also heavily impacted by the debt is said. This is man, more good news. That's all I'm bringing you. I bring you not the best news too. I want to keep you posted, but the good news, I'm just going to make sure I, I give you that. This has happened to me, you know, um, being a cancer survivor. I remember I had, oh God, I had this big bill. I forgot how much, thousands, maybe $5,000. And Edna would not pay it. This was in 07, 07, 08. And the, who at my hospital kept running it through. They ended up paying for it. So that's why I'm saying it's good if they can, you know, run it through a couple of times. But at least now, if you get a hospital bill, I do want to tell you, please go to the patient account rep. Go to the financial assistance. They will help you. They helped me and I was working. I had a decent job. They still helped me. Like they might take off 50% of your bill. The, the, talk to your doctor. If you got a real good relationship with your doctor, you have a big surgery and your insurance does don't cover a lot of it. Talk to your doctor. Sometimes they'll deduct from that bill for you. But talk to the financial assistance department at your hospital. All, all hospitals have them. And they will work with you. But a lot of times we have not because we did not ask. And sometimes we don't know about these resources. But I hope this helps. So be on the lookout. So if this happens July 1st, around mid-July, get your credit report and get your score. Maybe if you can get that score now. And then mid-July, top of August, look at your score. And you should see an increase. And that's good news. Because this is all about cleaning up your credit, doing your budget, getting you some income property, getting you a home for you and your kids, getting you a nice car, getting you some retirement money put to the side. These are things you want to have in place. And if you are one of those people out there that have bad credit, don't hide. Don't just put your head in the sand and don't find out what your credit score is you definitely want to find out even if it's like 597 497 i know i know that's not good it's not but it's nowhere to go but up hiding and putting your head in the sand is not going to improve your credit score listen to what i just told you they said 70 percent of the debt that is on people's credit report these medical bills are under 500 dollars. so that's really a shame that those small bills tanked a lot of people's credit but you won't have to worry about that anymore so start there you know you got to start somewhere you can't say i have bad credit and i'm just gonna close my eyes and hope it turns good or i'll wait for seven years to everything fall off that's really irresponsible your credit is your responsibility you want to be able to get nice things you deserve you want her i know you all do so i hope that's some good news for you all Naka people, I have not forgotten. You see what I'm, you see what I'm dealing with, Naka? Yeah, Ugh. I have not forgotten. Um, I don't want to keep saying I'm so busy. I'm so busy, but I am going to get that video out. But I did want to do this. I was supposed to do this one even before Naka. I want to just make sure I keep getting good information out, you know, about these credit scores because sometimes we don't know. Tell somebody if you know they they had a lot of medical bills. Tell them to be on the lookout. And pull that credit report now, get those three scores, and then compare it top of August or middle of July. Use Credit Karma. Credit Karma is going to give you Equifax and TransUnion. I do Experian. I pay $9.99 a month, so I can keep a track, keep track of that one. It's very interesting, too. I like how they break that one down. Credit Karma is also good as well. So um, Credit Karma is free. Start there. Don't again, don't have your head in the sand and say, I have bad credit. I'm just going to not even look at the number because I know it's just horrible. It may be better than you think. It may be an error on your credit 
report that don't even belong to you, you can get that cleaned off. You might have two medical bills for 150 and 200. That's great to be gone in July. Keep the faith, keep hope alive, stay positive, expect the best. Don't expect the worst. Don't expect bad credit. Expect the best credit. Expect the best house. Expect the best relationship. Expect the best vacation. Expect the best job, career, business, finances. Always look upward. Don't don't even don't even think bad stuff. Bob Proctor, the late Bob Proctor, I was watching his video, and he said, don't even look behind you. Just let it go. Focus on today, the future. Don't even look back there, because we spend so much time in our head thinking that the past is going to repeat itself. History is going to repeat itself. I am not going to get married, because I haven't gotten married so far. I never had a good relationship. I don't know anybody in a good relationship. What type of thinking is this? We have got to get away from the stinking thinking. Drop me some comments. Please subscribe to my channel too. Hit the like button. And hopefully this is good news for you. I hope it is. All righty, I'm gonna get out of here and have a beautiful evening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.